Megan, and I'm in quite a bit of a rush today because I've got a softball game in a little while and I have not gotten ready for it. So I'm going to show you the perfect dish to make when you're in a hurry. And it's a sweet potato gnocchi with a leek and jalapeno cream sauce. So to start out, I put some hot water in a pan and now I'm waiting for it to boil. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and chop up my one jalapeno and my one leek. So first, I just cut the stem off and then I split it in half lengthwise. And I like to use a grapefruit spoon to get out the seeds because you can really scrape it and they all come out in basically one chunk and it's perfect. If you like your dishes hotter, you could actually leave your jalapeno seeds in, but I like to make it a little more mild. It's up to you. And then we're just gonna go ahead and dice it into small pieces. All right, so I just finished cutting my jalapeno, and now I'm gonna get started on my leek. And I already cut the, ha the leek in half lengthwise so that I could go ahead and clean it out because inside all those layers, a lot of mud gets built up and nobody wants grit in their pasta sauce, right? So I just went ahead though and cut it in half one more time and now I'm just gonna slice it all the way up. And this was just one, you know, medium sized leek. All right, so I'm just finishing cutting up the rest of this leek and then I'm gonna go ahead and add it to this pan. And in here is just two tablespoons of butter over medium high heat. So while I'm waiting the five minutes for the leek and jalapeno to soften up, I'm just going ahead and chopping up my quarter cup of fresh cilantro into a little bit of smaller pieces. Alright, so the cilantro is all chopped up and it's been just about five minutes now so my leek and jalapeno are looking pretty cooked and that means it's time to turn the heat down to low and we'll be pouring in a quarter cup of half and half and four ounces of cream cheese. So you just keep this pan over the low heat so that you can get the cream cheese melted in and everything warmed up because the half and half was cold so you don't want to pour cold sauce onto your gnocchi. But now my water is boiling so I'm going to go ahead and dump the sweet potato gnocchi in and let them splash me a whole bunch. And these only take like two to three minutes to cook, so it's perfect. It goes really fast. So while we're waiting for those to start floating, we'll go ahead and add our cilantro to our sauce. That's totally sticking to my fingers. And then the juice of one lime. And it's good to add this in kind of right before so it's a little bit of a fresher flavor. And depending on how juicy your lime is, you might want to use two. But if you do just put one in your sauce, then you can go ahead and serve your dish with slices of lime for your guests. And then they can squeeze over to their taste and preference. Alright, so you can see now that the gnocchi have risen to the surface and are floating, so that means they're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off the heat now. Alright, so now I've got my gnocchi drained, and I'm going to go ahead and add them to my pan of sauce. Then I'm just going to mix these all together. Alright, so you can see it's a really thick and creamy sauce. 
with a lot of nice color from the leek and jalapeno. All right, so I'm just gonna pour my gnocchi now onto this platter to serve it. And then I have a little bit of extra cilantro that I'm gonna sprinkle on it. And a few more lime wedges. So you see the little bit of extra cilantro and the lime around the sides. Looks perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fork so I can give this a try. I really love gnocchi, especially with a rich cream sauce. And this is so fast to make, so I still have time to get ready and be on time for my softball game. I hope you all give this recipe a try. I know you're gonna enjoy it. Thank you for watching.